During the last few years, the fitness industry and media has emphasized the importance of dieting and exercising in order to achieve the ideal body. The stress of the COVID-19 pandemic has also caused an increase in eating disorders. This is not surprising, as one aspect of many eating disorders is trying to control things that feel out of control through food. Throughout the pandemic, there have been many things out of our control. Two of the most common types of eating disorders are anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa. These usually develop during adolescence and are 10 times more common in females than in males, but can occur in males as well. Some characteristics of anorexia include constantly restricting diet and intake, being at too low of a body weight and not recognizing that, fear of gaining weight, and constantly monitoring their weight. Some characteristics of bulimia include binge episodes where the person will consume large amounts of food in a very short period of time, purge attempts in order to get rid of the calories they have consumed, like over-exercising, inducing vomiting, or laxative use. Unlike those with anorexia, those who have bulimia are usually able to maintain a normal body weight. It's always important to look out for behavioral changes. These can include increased exercise, spending long periods of time in the bathroom, especially after meals, and laxative use or other supplement use that can decrease weight. So how can you help someone who suffers from an eating disorder or if you're worried about someone potentially having an eating disorder? The first thing you can do is to talk to the person as soon as you notice a problem. From there, together you can decide if it's necessary to seek professional help. This may include seeking help from a psychologist, psychiatrist, a nutritionist, or a primary care physician. Always try to focus your conversation on the person's overall well-being and health versus their appearance or their weight. We hope you found this information helpful. We at Mental Health Collaborative are committed to providing education and increasing awareness about all of the interrelated states of mental health. We hope that by doing this, stigma decreases and more people get proper treatment and support for mental illnesses, learn when to get help, where to get help, and what to expect when they get there.